Harmony. This is the Paladin Channel. I'm back after a hiatus. I had begun a gig economy job, and as you see, it's left me with an odd suntan. One could call it a farmer's suntan. It's enjoyable and provides interaction with many good people and provides all kinds of things that in life I begin to see reasons to appreciate the smallest of things, the least of interactions among all kinds of beings. I have where I work a waning invasion of eel flies. These are creatures whose lifespans are very short but their numbers are in the millions and they wind up being everywhere on walls. They're quite harmless, easily picked up and moved and it's easy to not harm them and respect them for their short lives. It brings me to the notion of life and living. I'm determined not to kill beings as I have. If I trap mice, for example, it's a live trap and I let them out elsewhere. I've done the same for rats, squirrels, numerous insects, including stinging insects. It used to drive my mother-in-law nuts that I would not kill a wasp. There's birds flying overhead. It is up to them to do whatever their biology suits them to do. They don't question that they go after live things. But in my instance, I'm determined as much as I can to not kill. That is, I'm more mindful as I go about places like this. I look down. The moist grass is full of snails and slugs, frogs, spiders ants. There's a profusion of creatures and where I work there are too and I strive to protect them all while I'm there as well as people. And the people I give good greetings to. I seek to help them. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take the profound. It doesn't take anything out of the ordinary. It doesn't take anything that would subtract from yourself to simply be kind. To greet the other with a smile and good wishes. When asked how I am, I'll say wonderful. And that daily is like building on daily exercise if you wanted to work on biceps or abs or something like that. You have what's known as daily gains and you also have the reward of the endorphins coming to you. The same thing with matters of philosophy and spirit where you improve your daily interactions not only with others but with your own self. You bring something to the day that's positive. You bring something to mind that's buttressing what is good. You bring about everything that is for the best, forward-looking, Promethean in the old terms. This kind of a thing, one can spread joy not only outward, but reflects inward. It comes back to the practitioner. As bad deeds and evil certainly come back to the practitioner. In all of these things, there's wonderful opportunities. Instead of saying, oh, my feet hurt, or my dog's not doing well, or 
I found another task to do at the house or something. Find something joyous I have to say to others. They don't ask me, how are you doing, to hear my gripes, my little complaints, my aches and pains, or anything like that by putting out my potential happiness. Happiness does come back, and it's therapeutic. When you send out good ripples in a pond, then they lightly come across other people and they can feel the niceness of the cool wave going up and down a little bit. It's far better than splashing and having the shock, the little bit of annoyance and the wish to respond in kind, that kind of a thing. The day is wonderful. And with your inner spirit, your inner light, I wish all of you the very same. This was Paladin Carl.